welcome to the Insurance Brokers Podcast, Helpful Hints. Here we break down the best, most informative bits of our full-length interviews. Just going back to the sort of innate dislike of being overtly sold to is a is something that has sort of that change in buying cycle has been coming for a long time, and we are very much now in a soft sell. Let me let me provide you with some really useful, really helpful, really good information or services or support without asking you for any money. And it, it, it goes back into the sort of the way you build trust, isn't it? The old trust equation, uh, credibility, reliability, uh, and intimacy divided by self-orientation. The minute that the person you're talking to feels that you're in it for yourself for in any which way, it's a huge turnoff, regardless of how credible, reliable, or intimate you've been previously. And I think that that trust equation is quite a powerful one. Um, it is. We do very much like you guys. We do some of that strategic analysis initially, and we focus quite a lot, like you do, on the metrics and the numbers. You cannot tell me that you want to grow without telling me how, in which which markets, by what percentage, GWP or income, and then working out exactly how many you need to go in the top funnel to, to kind of spit out the bottom. And one of the things that we do quite a lot of work with clients with is, Going back to your earlier point of it's quite easy to identify your audience, but there is a second step to that. So if your audience is widget manufacturers between a one and five million turnover that sit in location X, wonderful. Now let's find who the names, the actual companies and the actual directors that sit of those companies that fit those parameters in, in that particular market. And sometimes um, that's quite a tricky piece of work. It's very time consuming. It's incredibly laborious and it makes you want to remove your eyes with spoons, which is probably why it's a, it's a sort of stage that we'd rather not go down sometimes. But I think it's a really important piece of work because once you know that it's I don't know, Joe Bloggs of uh, Widget Manufacturer X, you can start to really understand what his pain points are. And does he sit on LinkedIn? Is he on Twitter? Is he on Facebook? Is he, is he likely to sit in front of a laptop? Or you know, are you looking at haulage drivers, in which case email campaigns is probably not the best way to go down, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a whole piece of meaty, laborious, and boring, but very strategic work that needs to go into the sort of the front loading. Do you guys get involved in that with with your clients? Do you do it for them? Do you do it with them? Do you sort of coach? You're you're absolutely right. It is incredibly laborious. The good sort of side to it is there's obviously data companies who will provide this this information, um, decision makers who, who, you know, sort of commonly accessed. LinkedIn is obviously a very good platform for finding people and actually connecting with them directly. Uh, and the more advanced LinkedIn navigation tools will will make that search a lot easier. But it is difficult to do. Um, it is time consuming. But if you look at the time and the cost of doing it and equate that to the opportunity cost of not doing it and sitting on the sidelines saying, you know, it's, it's not worth it. It's too much effort. Well, somebody else is going to do it. And you can be absolutely certain in, in the way the market is right now. You can be, you know, you can be 100% sure that your competitors are doing it. And there's nothing to say your competitors aren't looking at your clients thinking, hmm, I wonder what I can do to um, get in front of these guys. So you have to be ready to, you know, get into the rough and tumble of it um, and, and, and spend that time or employ someone to spend the time to do it. And like you say, there are some really, if, if, if sort of budgeting spend is a, is a marketing spend is an issue, there are some really great tools you can use. So some of the ones that we've come across are, you, you mentioned LinkedIn and Sales Navigator. There's a, there's a tool called Wizza that links to Sales Navigator and it's 15 cents per legitimate email that it will charge you. So if you've done your Sales Navigator search correctly, you can link in with Wizza and you can do, you know, a per email cost of very, very low. And there's all sorts of customer engagement platforms. We use Artesian quite a lot with our clients. Yeah. There's uh, companies like Hunter IO, Rocket Reach, or, you know, for people listening, if marketing spend is an issue and you really want to do some work on this list, highly, you know, recommend you have a play around with some of the, these, these software tools because, because why would you not? 
like you say, your competitors are doing it, particularly the market I say we're going into, but we're, we're fairly well in it now. And I think it's probably only going to get worse over the next few years for a whole host of reasons. This piece of work is really, really important. 